Hi everyone, this is Top 3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about the Sinterit Lisa X SLS 3D Printer. The Polish manufacturer Sinterit introduced its first compact 3D printer, Sinterit Lisa, in 2014. Since then, the company has delivered several hundred of these SLS systems, which operate in more than 40 countries. The company's clients include BMW, Bosch, Autodesk, Toyota, and a number of major universities. Besides, Sintrit Lisa won many international awards as the best desktop SLS printer. In 2019, Sintrit entered the professional industrial segment with two new models, the Lisa X and NILS 480. Selective Laser Sintering, or SLS, is a 3D printing technology used to create functional prototypes and small batches of products using synthetic powders. It is based on layer-by-layer -layer sintering of powder materials. The technology makes it possible to create durable products with high elasticity and quality surface. In a single print job, an SLS printer can produce highly accurate functional objects consisting of moving parts with complex internal geometry. Most importantly, SLS eliminates the need for support structures. The powder itself serves as a support for overhanging elements during printing. Once the process is complete, the user simply cleans the model from the powder and it is ready for use. In contrast to the previous professional model Lisa Pro, version X has a larger build volume. Their maximum dimensions are 110 by 160 by 245 millimeters and 130 by 180 by 330 millimeters respectively, or 4.3 versus 8 liters. When placing an object diagonally across the print volume, the Lisa X can create parts up to 40 centimeters long. This picture shows the volume of Sinterit Lisa Pro holding 48 finished oil caps, while the build chamber of Lisa X holds 72 similar products. Let's compare the print volumes of machines of a similar segment from other manufacturers. The Sintratec S2 has a cylindrical chamber with a diameter of 130 and height of 360 millimeters. In the Formlabs Fuse 1, it is 165 by 165 by 300 millimeters, or 4.8 and 8.2 liters, respectively. As for the maximum height of the object, the Sintrit Lisa X allows creating objects up to 40 centimeters long when placed diagonally, and the Formlabs Fuse 1 and Sintratec S2 up to 38 centimeters. Apparently, the choice of a device depends on the tasks. The Lisa X offers a good balance between the requirements of medium batch production and the manufacture of large prototypes. The second difference is that Lisa X uses a galvanometer, while the Lisa Pro employs HBOT kinematics. So for a 100 by 100 mm square outline, the print head has to move along this path. The print head and Lisa X remain stationary, with the laser guided through a system of mirrors, which allows increasing the print speed by 10 times. The Sintrit Lisa X carries a 30-watt diode laser, six times more powerful than that in the Lisa Pro, and three times more potent than the laser modules in the Sintratec S2 and Formlabs Fuse 1. This advantage expands the versatility of the Lisa X. Another important difference between the Lisa Pro and X is connectivity. The new model offers not only Wi-Fi and USB options, but also Ethernet, a mode best suited for organizations with stringent security protocols. The Sintrit Lisa X retains all the best features of previous models. This includes an integrated system of supplying gas mixtures in the build chamber to create an oxygen-free environment. The use of inert gases such as argon or nitrogen makes it possible to utilize the latest consumables, like Onyx PA11 carbon fiber polyamide, to produce parts which are as strong as aluminum. The manufacturer also offers the proprietary Sintrit Studio Slicer, which not only supports well-proven profiles for its materials, but also allows you to modify 32 printing parameters and experiment with third-party consumables. One of the most useful features of Sintrit Studio is auto-nesting. It helps to use the entire print chamber most efficiently by automatically placing models and also makes sure that parts don't overlap each other. In addition, Sintrit offers a complete ecosystem of solutions that includes cleaning and post-processing stations for finished products with a full range of accessories, as well as a powder handling station. The Sintrit Lisa X comes fully assembled and ready to use. It is transported with an impact-resistant mobile case. The printer is supplied with everything you need for the operation and maintenance of the unit. The outer dimensions of Sintrit Lisa X are 650 by 610 by 1200 millimeters, and it weighs 145 kilograms. After the printer is turned on for the first time, there are a few simple calibration and initial setup procedures to go through. All necessary steps are described on the printer's LCD display and accompanied by informative videos. The Sintrit lineup of consumables is constantly expanding. Today it includes 10 polymer powders with different mechanical properties. 
The first and most obvious material for printing on the Sintret Lisa X is PA12 polyamide, a tough and easy to print material that is excellent for functional prototypes and small batch production. PA11 Onyx polyamide is a strong material with high mechanical properties, perfect where PA12 might be too brittle. It is rougher than PA12, which can be an advantage when creating functional prototypes as it provides a better grip. The material will require an inert gas environment for printing. A mixture of polyamide 11 and carbon fiber can be indispensable for specialized applications. Products made from PA11 CF are stronger than similar objects made from some aluminum alloys. Another special polyamide, PA11 ESD, is used in the electronics industry due to its anti-static properties. Polypropylene has a high chemical resistance and excellent weldability to other polypropylene parts. It is worth noting that objects printed from Sinterent propylene have a high roughness. The company's line of powders include several elastic materials called Flexa. They are excellent for making prototypes of shoes, gaskets, shock absorbers, hoses and tubes, as well as for pre-operative planning and surgery. All parts made from Flexa powders are pleasant to touch, do not tear when stretched, and respond well to external influences. To summarize, the Sinterit Lisa X is a professional-grade device assembled from high-quality components. Special attention should be paid to advanced electronic components, intuitive user interface, and extensive network capabilities. The device belongs to the segment of affordable compact solutions for SLS printing. The greatest strengths of this printer are its large build chamber, high printing speed, low production cost, and great reusability of consumables. This is Top 3D Shop with the Sintret Lisa X 3D Printer Review. Subscribe to our channel, leave comments, and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. See you soon!